Hello, this is Keith All from KeithAll.com and today is video number eight in my 100 day internet lifestyle network video challenge. Tonight I would like to teach you how to add a contact form to your Weebly website. Okay, right here I'm in my dashboard of my Weebly we, uh, web, website that allows me to edit my website. I always want to, in this case, I want to be on the build tab, which I currently am. And then, since I already have pages set up, right here up to the upper right hand corner, I'm going to select my contact page. And then, I'm going to hover over here to the left where it allows me to drag my elements onto this page. Now I want to be under the basic heading of my elements. And if you could see right here down to the lower left here is the contact form element. So I'm going to drag it onto my page. And then it's going to come preset with form fields. In this case, it's going to have a name field separated with first and last. The email form or email field and a comment field. And if I scroll down, it'll have a submit button. We'll go through each of these uh, fields independently right above here where it says click to edit it's a little field where I could um, give it a heading basically so I'm just going to type in heading for contact form and as you can see you can bold it underline it increase the uh, uh, size of the font so you have a number of different options that you could select here. You could center it, right justify it, left justify it. Remove the, all the formatting. Undo and redo anything that you just did. If I click on the name field, the first field, we have a dialog box that comes up. And uh, the field uh, title, I could change it to anything that I want, which is uh, basically right here, above here. So if I change this, let me get back up here. So if I click out of there, as you can see, it changed this name here. You can make these fields required or not required. In other words, when I go ahead and click on the sip, submit button below, it's automatically going to uh, perform some checking for us. And if this field, this full name field, is not filled in, and if I have it selected as a required field, it will give us an error and I'll show you that once we publish it. The instructions field is basically uh, once you're on the site and if you hover over this form field it'll pop up a message so I'm just gonna uh, type in a little message so when we go ahead and test this you'll see what I mean. And the spacing is just basically the spacing between the uh, form fields. So I'll go back here. So that's it for this field. I'm going to do the same thing for um, the last name field. Let me come back up here. We could do this individually for each one where it's required. Now I'm going to go back, I'm going to select the email uh, form field, 
same thing I could change the email to something else where the this text above this field changes to whatever I type into this box again I'll leave it required the instructions again I'm just going to show you for tutorial purposes what this will do let's click this arrow to go back the spacing again is going to be the spacing above and below this field let's see what the advance is let's just uh, select something here okay now the comment field same thing I'm going to have it required instructions the width and height for a comment field is basically the width of this form field which is uh, right here it gets kind of grayed a little bit let me uh, zoom in here so you can see this better let's scroll down the width and height refers to this width and height so let's scroll back up and let's adjust this it's too small and as you can see this field form changed the width and height by it so you can always adjust that I'm gonna zoom back out okay spacing the same thing you can allow the spacing above and below the field between all these fields so you you can adjust that Okay, change it. Now let's go to the form options so we can see what is available for us. Again, contact form title. So whenever we go on to the, um, uh, if we have multiple forms that we want to add to our site, we can name them here. So we could differentiate between all of them. Now when we click on the submit button right here to the lower left, you want to submit this message to a specific email address. So that's what you would type in there. Confirmation means now when you click the submit, it either can go to a text form Basically, you could type in your text right here, and I'm going to leave it at that, and then we're, I'm going to publish it, and we'll test this out, and you'll see what I mean. Or you can link it if you have this set. This field right here means that once they click the Submit button, it'll be redirected to whatever site that we select in here. If I select the Standard page, right here is going to is going to list all the pages on your site that you have and you can redirect it to an individual page on your site and that's what this uh, standard page is if you select a store page this means that if your site is set up to have um, an order form where they buy products online this is what this is for to a uh, in this case so I'm gonna uh, X out of that I'm gonna come back up here click Save you want to save the form now I want to publish it now I'm gonna click this link here so we could view this uh, particular site click on the contact page link and as you can see we have a form here now as I hover over each one of the fields remember how we set this up 
that um, when you, we hover over it, it's going to give the user instructions. Only when you hover over the field. Once you, once you hover over the field, that message will pop up. Once you leave that field, it will leave. So if I click submit without filling in these form fields, you'll see what happens. As you can see, each field that is that was required that we set up, uh, it will highlight it in red, bold the field, so we sh have an indication that something is wrong. And also, there's a message down below that says, please correct the highlighted fields. So if I type in anything, and this, this must be a valid email address, meaning that you got to contact it in the correct format, which is the, the field before the add sign and a domain name afterwards. So I'm going to just type in a test that I know I have set up. And I'm going to uh, put in a comment. And as you can see, the text message came up here. Thank you for the information that has been submitted. Now, if I go to my email, it will uh, it will send this message, who it came from, the email address, and um, uh, who it came from, and plus the comments. So I'm going to go back to the editor form. And we're going to adjust we're going to edit this form so instead of sending a message, a text message, we're going to uh, do a link. And we're, I'm just going to type in an uh, website URL that's off my website. And click on save. And we're all done here. And then I'm going to come over here to write and click save. And then I'm going to click on the publish. Now we're viewing the site. I'm going to click on the contact form. Now I'm going to fill this in again. Click on submit. Now it redirected to the URL that we put into that form. So I hope today's video was an, uh, very helpful for you today on how you can add a contact form to your Weebly website. Thank you for stopping by today. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye now.